Now for this last part, we're told that to win a soft toy, a player must select six sticks and wins the toy if more than four of the sticks are shorter than 7.6 centimeters. So we've got to find the probability of winning a soft toy. Now to do something like this, what I'm thinking of is a tree diagram, something like this, where we're looking at the six sticks. And if you take any stick, it will either have a length that is less than 7.6 centimeters or greater than 7.6 centimeters. And we know that we're looking for four of the sticks to be shorter than 7.6 centimeters to win this toy. Okay, so what I've got here is essentially a binomial distribution because there's always two outcomes, there's a finite number of trials, events occur independent of one another and the probabilities remain constant. Now what I need to know though is what the probability of selecting a stick shorter than 7.6 centimeters is going to be. And I can get it from our diagram up here. If I just mark in the 7.6 centimeters, let's just say it's there. Again, it's not drawn to scale. It's just so I can illustrate this. Then it's given by this area here. So we've got that the probability that X is less than 7.6, we'll just pop that in as 7.6 there, is going to equal one third for the height multiplied by the width there, which is going to be 0.6. And if you work that out, that comes to exactly 0.2. So if we define a random variable, say, let's say let Y be the random variable, number of sticks shorter than 7.6 centimeters, where Y is now distributed binomially, we've got six trials, and the probability of a stick being shorter than 7.6 is 0.2. So when it comes to the probability of winning a toy, let's just put that down here as an intro, we know that the probability of Y must be greater than four. We need four or more sticks that are shorter than 7.6 centimeters. So in the usual way, when we're working out something like this, we would want to do one minus the probability that Y is say less than or equal to four. You could work out, say, five and six, just by the probability um, model, the formula, and uh, just add them together. But I feel that this is going to be in the tables with a value of 0.2. So I'm going to want to look at the probability of y being less than or equal to four. And indeed, it is in the tables. Here's an extract from our cumulative binomial distribution tables. Just look under P equaling 0.2 for N equals 6. And then in this column where you've got N is 4, you'll see that probability is 0.9984. So you've just got to do that this equals 1 minus 0.9984. And if you do that, you end up with 0.0126. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea then if you were in doubt about that question. Okay.